I'm reporting in on October 3rd, 2009 from beautiful Port Hope, Ontario. We spent the whole day here uh, in Port Hope to participate in the Port Hope Historic House Tour, which puts on 10 private homes and, uh, well, they're not just residences, but they're also other types of buildings, uh, including this mansion here, which is the Penryn Mansion, dating back from 1859 gorgeous gothic revival structure and it's actually just four o'clock and the historic home tour has now come to an end. Uh, you can't actually do any filming inside any of the properties which is a shame um, but we've seen some amazing properties today. Over here is the billiard house which literally was built uh, as a house that held a billiard table at the bottom floor and um, had some servants quarters at the top and um, Penryn Park is one of those estates of, uh, of the mid-1800s that were built by uh, wealthy families with lots of land. You can see here this gorgeous architecture. I wanted to show that to you from outside. Now this is part of the Port Hope, Port Hope Golf and Country Club. And I wanted to give you some views here of this uh, gorgeous estate. In the back here you can see Lake Ontario. There is a train track that goes right by here and this I think if I rem remember correctly is the 17th hole. I've played golf here quite a few times and this is one of my favorite golf courses in Ontario simply because of its location right next to Lake Ontario. And let me give you a view now, an exterior view of this amazing exterior of the Penryn Mansion here in Port Hope. As I say, the historic house tour 2009 in Port Hope has now come to an end. We've been here since 10.30 in the morning. We saw nine properties, so we managed to get in nine out of the ten properties. Uh, the last property that we saw prior to this one was a converted schoolhouse that now has 17 apartments in it. And we were in one of the penthouse apartments, 3,500 square feet with uh, facing three sides of the building just an amazing amazing property and uh, we talked to the homeowner who was actually very gregarious very outgoing and hospitable and we walked in the door and we just said wow I mean that property was just astounding the whole experience today has been great because we had lunch at the St. John's Ag Anglican Church um, there are four churches that participate in the Port Hope Historic House Tour and they offer lunch for ten dollars and we had a great high tea lunch which, which included sandwiches and uh, scones and uh, clotted cream and uh, uh, raspberry uh, marmalade or jam. It was really delicious and uh, we had a great time because some of the ladies there working at the church were volunteers and they were part of the choir and uh, they uh, actually took us into the church, opened the church doors for us and the lady who's the musical director of the church ended up giving us a, a private organ concert which was phenomenal. Uh, yeah, Port Hope Historic House Tour now closed for today. Yes. Okay, that's it. No more. Thank you. It was great. And uh, yeah, we just had an awesome time. You can see here Penryn Park, circa 1859. And I think they changed the lineup of houses that participate every year. And I think I'm definitely going to plan to come back next year because it's been a great event. Signing off from the Port Hope Historic Home Tour 2000.